Hello and welcome back to Stellaris. This is Adam here. We're picking up with the war down here against the Thelmar Union again. So we're going to leave it at normal speed. Uh, I don't remember exactly what our fleets were doing. I think we were getting ready to take a planet. Try to end this fight. Troops to be built, I guess. Uh, Army-wise, they've still got a whole hell of a lot down there, so I think we're gonna have to leave those guys dealing with that for a while. And the first fleet's gonna break off and uh, go secure some of this territory, I think, while that's going on. Unrest, it's fine. We'll get to dealing with the unrest at some point. Now, we still. We still have incoming rare crystals. We're a little low on crystals, so let's build a crystal. Savage thing. hordes touching down. Savage hordes touch. What? Hold on one second. How did they sneak around without me noticing? That's annoying. See if we can break this up. We're gonna have to retake that planet, I'm sure. How goes the fight? I said, how goes the fight? Uh, we failed to defend. Yeah, they already took it. They already took it. That's irritating. This war is going to go on a little longer then, I guess. Let's construct a gene clinic. And you guys already have a gene clinic. What do we need on this world then? Uh, I think we'll do another synthetic crystal plant. So we just always need crystals. We always need stuff. What is? What was this? This was Alloy Foundries. Repair that, please. I think we'll build and we'll build another synthetic crystal plant. Let's start doing some mining out here to make up for all the cri the uh, crystals. Attacking we're enemy vessels. Gotta hold on a second while we deal with this. This world will probably build another civilian industry. Uh, I think we're finally, since we're not going to need to increase our administrative cap for a while, we're probably going to stop burning quite so much of the, uh, the what do you want to call them? The, uh, technology secured. I'm distracted. This is going to be a big fight. 6.5 plus 5 point something. Uh, anyway, I was saying uh, we're not going to need to use so many uh, consumer goods because we have enough administrative cap now that we don't need to build any more admin centers which use um, consumer goods. This is ugly. This is the biggest fight we've been in. Let's pause that for a moment. And. Um, I guess we'll just, that's almost done, we might as well just get that out of the way. I don't know if we'll use auto cannons. But... We're giving association status away to a lot of people, that's probably good. What is even happening now? Oh, they're going after the star base. Mess. Technology secured. Where is the starbase in all of this? I guess we took the starbase. Well, that was a 
fight and a half? How many ships did we end up losing? 20! We lost 20 ships. Space Amoebas, don't hurt my transports. Ah, oh, you're hurting my transports. This is all going poorly. This is going very poorly. Get out of there, man. <sighs> well, that's going to delay the war quite a bit more that the transports couldn't get through. I have to kill a lot of space amoebas. That's going to make getting reinforcements in here difficult if those space amoebas park out that way too, because the fleets are always going to be trying to come around. And... Alright, well we have a lot of energy. Let's go to the market real quick here. Uh, let's purchase 500 more just so that that's under control for a while. Let's sell a couple hundred moats. We'll do 100 crystal, like 300 of that. And let's just buy a ton of alloys. We should be able to get pretty much all the ships going now. And we should be able to get some repairs. I think they still didn't lose. Yeah, they didn't lose that many ships, unfortunately. We're gonna have to kind of strike while the iron's hot here, so to speak. So most of their ships withdrew. And they do have a fairly powerful space station there, unfortunately. That my enemy has declared war on Okay, us. that's unfortunate. Who are you? <sighs> they have a powerful fleet too, I think. They have a superior fleet. Awesome. Well, let's get the third armada moving, because they're going to be needed, I'm sure. Uh, let's get down here. Start upgrading this, because they're probably going to come... No, well, we'll upgrade that too, but they're probably going to come through here. So let's get some defenses up. This is pretty much just going to be a defensive shipyard. Uh, I mean, a defensive station. So like two gun batteries, a missile battery, some fighters, and that. And hopefully that will help. We'll, we have stuff for defensive platforms too. Not really. We well, need this war to end, basically, is what it comes down to. This is very unfortunate timing. I may just have to end this war prematurely here and go focus on the bigger threat because that really sucks that they have a superior fleet to us and they're going to have access around both ways. It wouldn't be so bad if they went this way, I suppose. Uh, we have 600 influence. We can start making some claims against them. Are we only at war with them? We gotta check that real quick. Uh, yes. I wonder why they got angry enough to declare war. That would be a pretty good start. That's 435. We definitely want... Those are both good energy systems, too. We'll take those. I'd be happy if we could get to this line, but I don't think we're going to have enough influence to get all that claimed in this war. so much stuff, but I'm all nervous now and want to pay attention to what's actually happening. Uh, we'll go 
build another synthetic crystal plant, and I'm not going to build anything else on planets for the time being. We have a lot to pay attention to. Alright, they're moving their fleets around. Let's see if we can go intercept that. fleets are in rough shape right now. We're going to take some losses again in this fight. What can we get if we... What would a status quo do? Neither side are... Mm -hmm. It would just be a white piece. I didn't go all through all this for a white piece. Actually, yes, I did. Let's let's just go for the white piece. We don't have time for that. We'll rendezvous the troop transports out here. Now, hopefully, their fleets are so far down here. We don't have to worry. I mean, they have vast space. They left their... What? We broke their federation? Well, isn't that interesting? They're in a defensive pact, but they're independent now. Huh. see any enemy fleets. They have only two ways to get here. It'd be going all the way around here, which they probably won't do. I'm coming up this way. So we should probably see about purchasing some more alloys here. And we sell good food production, so we'll sell 5,000 of that. And do that. Let's see about getting some defensive stations online out here too. Oh. How are we doing for exotic gases? We have some in storage, so just just build what you can, man. for fleets. I don't want to go to high speed right now because I feel like I'll miss something important. Let's just start working on some of this. Cancel that and we'll do a farm since we have some slaves on that world that are apparently not working. And Technology secured. More hull points would be helpful. What do we want here? We have... Yes, yeah, just more civilian industries. I'm hoping that even though technically they have a superior fleet to us, they won't commit enough of their forces to any one place to cause an issue. That's the dream. We should probably have built a shipyard out here too. So that we can do an upgrade on those fleets. We'll build a shipyard one back. Still waiting on reinforcements. I feel like we built all the reinforcements. I don't really know where they are. Okay, 
we are going to be expanding to some more planets, but I think that's not going to happen at the moment. Stressful. I wonder why they attacked without moving their fleet up. The AI does strange things. War declared. We're still voting no on the Federation thing with them. Let's do a little fast. Can we see into these systems here? We can see into that one. Uh, what about this? Apparently we can see into that one. So we'll have a pretty good warning of their fleet coming. Construction complete. Alright, we got this done. Let's see. We do indeed have enough to buy a bit more, I think. We'll sell 2,000 more. Let's buy 500 of that just so it's not a problem for a while. 100. And we'll do 100. And then... There we go. Let's get a shipyard online here. Get some gun batteries and such. have the third fleet stop there and actually get upgraded. Oh good, a big fleet's coming. Thank you. Our ally is actually being helpful for once. Oh, we have a, a thing we can build. Go do it. See if there's anything else like that that's been overlooked. I don't think so. What are we voting on? Comfort the Fallen. Um. No. I oppose that. Let me wild to the shipyards online here. Let's set any of our fleets to be able to take point. Is it on? Yeah. Because then maybe our allies will actually be smart enough to follow my fleet and not do something stupid. Man, I wish there was a more direct route around here. Construction complete. Uh, Metro Enlightened Kingdom. Hmm. Really? That's irritating. That's a lot of territory. You guys are becoming quite powerful. In fact, they're overwhelming right now. That's awesome. Do we have... Is somebody improving relations with them? Probably should. But if I pull my envoy out of here, we're going to end up losing cohesion, I think. So that's probably not a great idea right now. We need this federation to hang together. Did we finish out? Yeah, we finished out that last time. Let's see. Diplomacy is probably not really that useful of a route to go. Although, increasing our trust cap by plus 50 might get us closer to being able to get the Star Realm of Cytheria to join our Federation. 
And actually, we could probably leave this Federation and start another one if we get the Federation perk. Let's go Diplomacy. That, I, I kind of might want to leave that open as an option. Because um, these guys do like us, and this Federation hasn't really been all that useful. So it is possible we could leave this Federation. Have we got a shipyard online here yet? Yes, we do. We'll get started on getting this fleet up to our full cap that we want it to be at. Why is it not letting me do that? Huh. Oh, because it has the caravan cruiser. Alright, that's fine. I don't think we have much else we can sell at the moment to get more alloys for construction projects. Construction complete. Um, how many defense platforms? One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. That should get us up to maximum defense platforms, and then we'll try to upgrade that too. That is going to be the line. change course here and get the first and second fleets out this way. And they're probably going to start taking some of these star systems. How did you guys get to overwhelming fleet oh, power? That's insane. Very irritated that they got this vassal too. You guys are loyal. Are you sending fleets? They are. They just don't have much. I should have built a second shipyard here, too. This upgrade process is slow. Yep, they're going to start taking some systems, so I guess we'll get to maybe see Space Amoeba. Where are you, Space Amoeba? Are you harassing, you're harassing my lone ship. This guy's going to get himself killed. He hasn't been that useful anymore anyway, so if he dies, he dies. Hulks vivisected. Ran away. Good for him. Plasma accelerator is interesting. Okay. That's some okay stuff. Now you have nothing to do. Go... Try to find... Nope, there's nothing for him to do, so go home. And what else would we want on the capital world? here. What was that terrifying noise, too? 
I guess this is the noise our capital makes. Huh. Uh, we have a decent amount of crystals coming in. We need some amenities. Let's go with... Does this provide amenities? It provides trade value and amenities. Ten, yeah, let's do a, a trade hub. Oh, that's good. You didn't withdraw that far away. I think it might be time for a period of peace after this to rebuild because vessels upgrade. Everybody's kind of. We've spent so much time upgrading our economy and stuff that everybody's kind of leapfrogging this empire in terms of um, technology and weapons and fleets and such. It's getting a little dicey. There's their fleet. Oh boy. That's more than 30,000. Construction complete. Oh no. Would you please fall back? You're gonna get yourself killed. If we make a stand here, we're probably in okay shape, but... I don't know that we even have time to stop for these upgrades. These ships might not make it in time. Are you falling back? Please fall back. You're not falling back. You're gonna go take that system and you're gonna get yourself trapped. Oh man. Come on, fleets, get moving. 260 days. I really wish they hadn't sent everything. If this fleet doesn't do something stupid, I think we'll be in okay shape. But I, like I said, I don't think we have time to actually stop for upgrades, so just go. Technology secured. That's not that useful. So let's go with the tile blocker. stuff now. Let's build a city district, I guess. Yeah, they're gonna be here before we get there, aren't they? Quite possibly. Don't go there, you're gonna get trapped, you fools! Me. Uh, let's see about ordering a ship or two here. In fact, we should probably just keep this shipyard churning ships out as much as we can. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the Star Fortress upgrade done before these guys get here. I don't even know how many of these defensive platforms we're going to be able to get online. That's almost 40,000. It's probably 35,000 fleet power. Damn. They've got a huge advantage. 
It's only gonna be like a 6k space station probably station by the time under we get attack. I really don't have time to deal with pirates right now, thank you. Where is this guy at? We need... Okay, he's already here. Uh, no, he's not. Get there. We need every single ship we can get. Systems had pirates in it before. Please fall back. Zero G mineral production violently diminished. Where'd their fleet? Okay, there's their fleet. That's really annoying. If they would fall back, spaceport under attack. I really feel like we'd be in okay shape, perhaps, for dealing with that nonsense. But they're just. They're gonna get themselves killed. Throw away the ships like they always, always, always do. I'm gonna be lucky to make it through this thing. I don't have time to refit the fleet based on what weapons those guys have. We just have to to deal. Construction complete. A new species. Hmm. Well, hopefully that will be helpful. What did they do to themselves? Oh, we have people with Tomb World Preference now, that's nice. Which means there's Tomb Worlds we can settle. Assuming we have an empire left when we get to the other side of this. Oh man, please fall back to the space station. They're going there. You fools! see us being able even if we survive this battle being able to uh zero g research output violently diminished move forward and take any systems off of these guys maybe they won't get destroyed maybe they'll warp over here take this system and then when this fleet shows up warp over here that would be amazing please do that At least the Commonwealth sent their 296 fleet power here. I'm sure that will really help. Are you guys almost yeah, you're warping out? I feel like with that 8k fleet, it'll be close. Oh, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Be nice if their fleet would split up, but they're not going to. They're just going to leave it in a horrible death stack. War declared. Of 
poor little space station. Are they moving right on to our system? Where are they going? I think they're chasing that fleet. Guys, you gotta go. You gotta go. Get out of there. Please. You morons. Oh my lord. Why would you do this? You don't have to throw away your fleet. You could help. Now they're more... Oh man, they're gonna get caught. Actually, it looks like they're coming for... Technology secure. This station right now. Oh my god, it's gonna happen. We're gonna lose this one. There's no way. I'm gonna cancel some of these defensive platforms because they're not gonna be completed by the time these guys arrive anyway. Save the alloys. May as well just cancel both of these two. Oh, there, it was a good empire. It was nice. I gotta hand it to these guys. I didn't see this coming. Hold the line. Did they... What? What just happened? All ships, all ships. Let's see, maybe we can catch one of their fleets before it warp. They're all gonna warp at the exact same time though, aren't they? That's gonna be too dangerous. Well, that was an unexpected miracle. Continue upgrading the station. We probably could try to catch them. I don't think we're going to be able to. Yeah, we're not going to be able to. What the hell was that? Alright, continue the shipbuilding and everything then. Thank goodness. Oh man, we have one of the glitched out construction projects going on now, too. Are they chasing that fleet? I don't, I don't have a clue what they're doing. They're gonna go liberate those systems, I guess. That's dumb. Okay, keep, keep capturing stuff. Maybe they'll keep chasing you for a while. Weird. I'll take it. some more alloy. Uh, what do we want to get rid of? I guess we can get rid of like 5k of this. That. Hmm. That's annoying. Do we dare to go upgrade the fleet real quick? It's only two jumps, as long as we pay attention. Where are you guys going now? I think the situation starts improving on that world and it just keeps getting worse.
probably gonna go liberate that other system. They split up. At least a little bit. Where are they going? They're gonna go attack that fleet. That's 10k. That's 20k, basically. I really can't justify sending my fleet to go help. Because our space station here is our best chance. Man, that upgrade's not going to be done ever. Technology secured. Yeah, they just keep changing course. Oh, we might be able to catch half their fleet there. I don't think we have time to do this upgrade. We have to just get back here. This is too dangerous. Oh, they're coming for us. And with two fleets, what do we got? 9k. About 18k in all. If this fleet can get back, we might have a chance to deal with that. Why would they make such a seemingly stupid mistake? I think they're gonna go catch this fleet on Fort G. Yep, they're gonna fight right here. You fools! You foolish fools! They're liberating that system. So, I think we're going to try to go cut these guys off at the pass. And get half their fleet power out of the way at least. That's risky. It's going to be ugly. Now the risk is that if we get our fleet caught out of position here, after fighting these guys, they'll be weakened. Hmm. It's a difficult, difficult scenario here. I wonder if they did any meaningful damage there. They might have done enough that these guys are going to get repairs. I think they did. Let's see about intercepting this fleet then. No, they're chasing after that other Federation fleet. Oh, this is nerve-wracking maneuvering that we have to do here. I just really don't want to get caught having to fight both halves of this fleet. Hopefully they'll take long enough dealing with the stuff down here. I mean, that's a pretty small fleet, so I don't really care that much what happens to that fleet. Attacking out. enemy assets. We are. Uh, we don't need to be doing this right now. Get over there. Uh. Get over there with the rest of the fleet. Where is the main? They're engaging over here. I'm 
expecting very heavy casualties here. Market like 5k, 5k. We just need minerals. actually look at the oh yeah we need consumer goods too that's probably important do we have the little after action report thing still here yeah they didn't lose a single ship that's awful And I apologize if you hear something weird in the background. It is pouring rain out there. Are they anywhere near like wanting... Settle status quo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we settle status quo, we could take some of these systems. We could get out of this war right now with a few star systems picked up. I mean, it's not what I wanted, but it would get us out of trouble here, and they're going to retake this system anyway. Hold your horses. There's no way we can get a fleet here to take anything else beforehand either. Let's just settle status quo. Oh, that victory was amazing. Oh. That fleet engagement made all the difference. Let's get our science ship down here, because these guys have some goodies, I think. They're only equivalent to us now, too. Nice. Whew. Well, that was horrifying. I would like to turn my attention back to getting these guys brought into the, uh, the fold at some point, but it's very confusing that these guys are purple. That's not great. So what did we end up picking up out of that? A pretty decent star system, a mediocre one. Eh, it's not that bad. Considering we weren't even planning on going to war, I think I'll take that. And let's do some more claims against these guys because I really feel like we're... Why did they turn isolationist? Huh, that's interesting. Um, I really feel like we're going to end up going to war with these guys whether we want to or not again. So, let's start planning out our expansion. So if we take that system and that system, we'll be in pretty good shape. We could build a good bulwark. We can now settle Tomb Worlds. <coughs> so that's cool. In fact, before all those new fancy Tomb World pops get killed, let's go ahead and build a ship full of those guys so we can get another planet settled and start dealing with trying to secure some stuff. Are we in charge of the Federation again? We are in charge of the Federation again. And you 
were probably meant for this fleet, I assume. Whew. So, we managed to avoid catastrophe against a superior foe. That's awesome. Uh, you guys are still only superior. They're not overwhelming anymore. I'm really giving some thought to the idea of quitting my federation and starting a new one with these guys. Because this is not going well getting any of that actually on board. We might be able to integrate you now, right? Can we integrate you? Integrate subject, 281. That might be worth doing. I don't know how much good they're really doing as a vassal. Seems like it's just causing trouble in the Federation, really. So, I think our next focus is going to have to be getting the rest of these claims in so that we can build a nice bulwark. I don't really care about going any farther into these guys' territory than here anyway, because I don't want to border with these guys. So I'd be A-OK -okay with stop- well, maybe stopping here-ish. But stopping somewhere there, because if we stop there, then we can get out and have access to this space. So that's probably what we'll do. <sighs> yeah, like I said, we have a bunch of tomb worlds that we can actually do stuff with. So, see if we can get that going. Uh, we have a tomb world here. And we can finally settle the, the Gruner planet, too. So I think we're going to focus inward on just getting our economy repaired building a whole lot of ships. I'm going to keep this fleet stationed down here, so we're probably going to actually build this into a, our major shipyard down in this area, have some uh, docking facilities and stuff there, because I don't think these guys are going to backstab me. They seem like pretty upstanding people. They haven't made any claims against any of our territory, and we have good relations with them, so I think we'll probably just hope that they're going to be trustworthy. Who are they rivaling? Not that consciousness. We should probably rival the, this thing too. That'll improve relations. Can we do that yet? No. And yeah, I don't think we're attacking anybody for the time being. So in the next episode, we're going to work on colonizing the rest of the worlds that are colonizable inside of our territory. Uh, we don't really have the energy resources right now to start terraforming that, but I probably will. And uh, we'll just get a really kicking economy going, really pour into the shipbuilding program, get at least four armadas of a similar size going. I don't think we have any new ship research available right now, but we can get the first fleet upgraded. Let's actually set the order to go do that right now. And we're going to set that as their home base and have them go upgrade. That way if they retreat, they'll retreat back here. Whew. Well, I'm glad we made it through that. That was terrifying. The AI made a pretty stupid mistake, and we benefited from it, but I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.